What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Mad Dogs Barbecue Co. YouTube channel. It is Super Bowl time. We are thinking about Super Bowl foods. We just had a video come out uh, Monday of Buffalo Chicken Dip. So we're going to continue on this week, help y'all get ready for Super Bowl with some different recipes. If you're having a hard time thinking about what to do, I'm here to help. Um, so let's get to it. To it. We are going to be making some smoked sausage burnt ends. These things are delicious and pack a ton of flavor. Everybody's going to love them. This is going to be an easy recipe. It's not going to break the bank and they're going to be delicious. So I went down to my local grocery store, picked out some Holmes Smokehouse sausage. This stuff's really good. I've had it a couple times. And you can use any brand that you like. I know people have different preferences. I don't, to be honest, this was on sale. But it is a very good smoked sausage. Um, so let's get into it. And what you're going to want to do is we're just going to cut these up into slices. You don't have to do it any certain size. Just kind of what you want. You can do it thin or whatever. Just get you a good knife and get to cutting. Just like this. Alright guys, we're going to finish cutting these up. Get them into our pan and start putting some flavor on these and we'll get back at it. Alright guys, we got all of our sausage. We come around and cut up just like that. We got about a half a pan. Let's get on with business here. Take that glove off. I've got some regular old mustard. Just some yellow mustard here. Um, just, I'm going to put this on here as our binder, and then we're going to be adding some flavors. Let's just get some mustard on there, just like that. Doo -doo -doo. All right, not too much, not too little. So, we're going in with our Mad Dog's Barbecue Rub here, and we're going to go a little heavy. Get these nice and coated, just like that. Now, we'll take, start mixing all these in and around. Add more if you need it. You just want every little piece to be good and coated. You might add some more mustard, you might add some more rub. You might add both. You just want as much flavor on these things as possible. Just kind of get them nice and flat in there. There we go. Let's add a little bit more of a rub. Just a little bit. All right. We've got our first step done to making these smoked sausage burnt ends. I don't want to hear nobody whining because, oh, it's not made out of brisket. It's not made out of brisket. No, it's not. No. I'm not spending the money on brisket to feed a bunch of people. These are awesome. These are good. It's just the style, that how they're cooked, burn-in style. Um, do it with bologna. If you haven't watched that video, go check it out. Um, regular old hot dogs, we we done it with that. It's just the style on how you prepare it, burn-in style. Um, so, let's get it out to our Traeger. It's running about 275. Um, then we're going to come in here and we're going to get it loaded up with some flavors and some goodies so let's give it a shot here this is kind of see how each piece is nice and coated we got that done first step second step let's go to the traeger and get some smoke on these bad boys all right guys we're on the traeger 275 get some smoke and color on these bad boys and we'll be back our smoked sausages have some nice color on them. They're the way I like. We grab this. Look at that. Nice color on there. Now, let's start adding some of our goodies to make to turn these things 
into some burnt ends. Got me a little bit of butter here. I'm going to cut up into fours. Just like this. And like that. I'm just going to add this butter on the top. It gives it some nice rich flavor here. Just like that. Because we are going to put some of our sauce in. Now what I'm using is our Mad Dogs Barbecue Co. Old Red. You can find this on our website. www.maddogsbarbecue.com We're going to add that to these. Just like that. You can do this to Old Red, but I want to add a little bit of our Mag Dogs Barbecue Co. Old Yeller, which is also on our website. Just get these things a little bit of sauce on them. And for the final touch is some brown sugar. I'm going to add. About a cup of brown sugar. This is a half cup, so about a cup just like that. Now, these things are going to be sweet and tangy. Our tangy is going to come from our barbecue sauce. Sweet's coming from that delicious brown sugar. It's going to caramelize and stick to everything. It's going to stick to your ribs and make y'all pretty. So, let's get to mixing these up. We've got our butter in there. That's going to bring in that nice, rich, silky taste to it. I don't know what silk tastes like, but if you can imagine, it probably tastes a lot like butter. Let's just give these a nice mix, get everything incorporated. We still got all that good flavor from the rub on there. All right. So, these are going to go back out to our Traeger. I cranked it up to 350. Get these things good and tacky and caramelized. Just like that. We got our butter in there. So, let's get these back out to the Traeger. 350 degrees until you think they're ready to pull off. I like mine with a dark look nice and sticky just like that already looks good let's get them out there hey guys we'll be back all right guys our delicious smoked sausage burnt ends are finished and these things smell so good. Somebody needs to hurry up and create Smell-O-Vision because this, this is just gonna put you in a whole different mood right here. I don't care if you just ate a 96 ounce steak, you're gonna want some of these after smelling them. My mouth's been watering. I'm ready to get in here and get this bite. So let's get it. Mm. That's a different level right there. That is so good. People are going to love these. Hey, you're sitting there watching the Super Bowl and your team loses, you ain't going to be too upset after having these because afterwards, feeling sorry about that loss, get you a couple of these, you ain't going to be sorry no more. Let me just get in here a little bit. Look at that. Nice and sticky. Mm. Guys, I hope you try this out. This is an awesome Super Bowl party food. Your friends and family are going to love these. They're tangy, they're sweet, 
they're sticky good little toothpick food as I like to say I love toothpick food at parties it's great so guys head on over to our website at maddogsbarbecueco.com pick you up a bottle of sauce try these out let us know hey like and comment and subscribe to keep getting awesome content like this and great recipes we're going to have a couple more super bowl recipes to get y'all ready help you out for your super bowl party game day recipes so everybody head on out to the website like and subscribe see y'all later